So let's look at uh, Baylor's on a bye. Um, the game of the week in the Big 12, maybe all of college football <laughs> is in Lawrence, Kansas. Can you believe this? Uh, numbers- I've been calling for it, man. I'm <laughs> so happy. It's cool. Uh, number 17 TCU travels to number 19 Kansas in a battle of undefeateds, just like we all predicted at the start of the year. <laughs> uh, what a world. Yeah, I know. So college game day is headed to Lawrence for the very first time ever. Um, And Lance Leipold's name, of course, is popping up in every uh, coaching rumor out there. Um, And that probably will continue. But TCU, uh, which Curtis talked about, they've been impressive too. So my question is this, which of these two coaches, Leipold, Sonny Dykes, has the inside track on Big 12 Coach of the Year. And does that does your answer to that question reflect who you're picking in this game? What do you say? Uh, I'm going to go with uh, Leipold. Just because he's at Kansas, you know, they've got a horrible history of football. Nobody saw this coming. Oh, no. No one. No. <laughs> uh, yeah, and uh, I kind of like TCU to win this game. Okay. Uh, I just, I mean, what they did at Oklahoma last week is pretty darn impressive. Yeah. Uh, but even if Kansas loses, I, I still like Leipold as a favorite just because he's what he's doing at Kansas. Right. If they, you know, I, I don't think any of us really expect Kansas to be in Jerry World, but if if they win seven, eight games. I mean, to me, that's still a remarkable season at Kansas. Curtis, what do you say? If, if Leipold gets to that sixth win this season, he's got my vote the next day <laughs> yeah, for big 12 yeah. coach of the year, yeah, yeah. because you're talking about a team that's who's only win last year in, in the big 12 went two and 10 last year when he got hired in May and they're somehow beat Texas. Although everybody beat Texas last year. Um, Look, what he's doing at Kansas is remarkable. Kansas is ranked in football, undefeated, six weeks into the season, and we're still talking about football. Yeah. And so I, I'm with John on this one. I think TCU wins the game because Kansas has not faced an offense quite like this. But, man, what a game this could be because that defense has been so good so far this year. To take an Iowa State team that – kind of gave Baylor fits at certain points in the game, not for the full 60 minutes and hold them to two for four in the red zone. Part of that being three missed field goals from relatively decent range. Um, This is a really good Kansas team, man. That defense is good. Jalen Daniels uh, lightning in a bottle. And they found a way to win last year, last week against Iowa state with Daniels being bottled up. But again, I go back to this is hands down the most explosive offense that, Kansas has seen this year. I think it gets Kansas this week, but if they win one more game, Leipold's got my vote the next day for Big 12 Coach of the Year. <laughs> and that's taking nothing away from uh, from Sonny Dykes or Chris Kleiman or Mike Gundy, all of whom, to me, if if K State, if TCU is in the Big 12 Championship game, I mean, uh, Sonny Dykes is going to get some consideration for that award. Oh, 100%. Yeah. But you're talking about first year but that all all that said i'm with you guys uh kansas is the story of the season in the big 12 uh, as far as i'm concerned and um i i say they get there i say they get that one more win that they need to get to bowl game everything beyond that is gravy i mean um so we'll see The one downside for Kansas is they're going into the teeth of their schedule. Mm -hmm. They've already got the worst team in the Big 12 this season behind them. The only other team that anybody's really expecting to finish toward the bottom of the Big 12 that is on the schedule at this point is Texas Tech. So this is going to be a rough stretch for the Jayhawks. No doubt. No doubt. 